Okay, welcome to the final lecture of this week. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we will not be introducing any new concepts, uh, but we will just try to understand SVD uh, through an example, uh, a simple 2 cross 2 example, but all the concepts that we have learnt uh, will come into play. Uh, in particular, uh, we will take an example and try to write it in the SVD form. But when you are, I mean, the example we are looking at is a square matrix. So, the first thing to investigate is whether it is diagonalizable. So, we will have to check if it is diagonalizable. Uh, how do you check that? By checking if you get enough uh, linearly independent eigenvectors. Once you do that, then we will go on to write it in the SVD form and uh, we will compute, uh, we will show how to do this in detail. So, let us do an example to understand SVD, even though it is a toy example with a 2 cross 2 matrix and the concepts uh, <coughs> but the procedure of uh, deriving the SVD of a given matrix should be clear from this example. Let us take this matrix. So the question is it is not symmetric, uh, so you cannot apply spectral theorem to say it is diagonalizable, but there are uh, I mean the task is to find SVD of E. Okay. Now, for diagonal, diagonalizable matrices, uh, the SVD is the same as the one given by spectral theorem, so it need not work as hard. So, the first thing to check is, is matrix A diagonalizable. So, let us check this, the answer is actually no. Uh, so, eigenvalue e is just square root 2 and this is repeated ok, but that is not enough to say that uh, you know it is not diagonalizable, but uh, because uh, if you get two independent uh, linearly independent eigenvectors you can not diagonalize any matrix, any 2 cross 2 matrix, matrix. so let us check what is a minus square root this is a minus lambda n and this turns out to be 0 1 0 0 and uh, this so 1 0 is an eigenvector and you do not get another linearly independent eigenvector and there are not any more linearly independent <coughs> eigenvectors of here. So, it is clear. So, you cannot diagonalize it. Uh, so, uh, the other reasonable thing to do is to do the, ok, let us do the SVD. So, finding the SVD of this matrix square root 2, what is it? 1, 0, square root. The procedure is find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of A transpose A using eigenvectors form an orthonormal basis. In this case, it is R2. Okay. Now, after this, <coughs> after this, use the fact that uh, sigma 1, I mean with y as defined in the proof, x1 sigma 2 y2 equals a x2 where x1 comma x2 is the basis from step 1 okay, step uh, 1 use this to find y1 comma y2 then you just have to Put q1 as y1, 
my two q two as x one x two and sigma as square root lambda one square root lambda two. Eigen values of returns. So this is the procedure. So let's go through. Let's go through this procedure fully. So we are trying to find the this video of this. So, so step one. So we know a transpose a is two square root two square root two three. I mean, needless to say, it's a real symmetric matrix. You can work this out on your own. It's easy to find the eigenvalues. They are lambda one equals four, lambda two equals one. So the singular values sigma one square root lambda one equals two, sigma two equals square root lambda two equals one. Okay. So we are already ready to uh, define or work out the matrix here. Now the next stop is finding the eigenvectors. Now, eigenvectors of a transpose a. So the eigenvalues are four and one. So the first thing is a transpose a minus four i. This turns out to be. I'm going to write this for you. Minus two square root two, square root two, and minus one. Okay. And the other thing is a transpose a minus i. So a transpose a minus i is one square root two, square root two. Now. An eigen vector just by I V balling eigen vector is for this it is one square root two for lambda one equals four the eigen vector is square root two and minus one for lambda two equals one. Now we need to normalize. Normalizing eigen vectors. We obtain the two vectors. Uh, let me write it as x1 and x2. We get x1 as just divided by the length 1 by square root 3, 1 comma square root 2. And x2 equals uh, 1 by square root 3, square root 2 and minus 1. So given these x1 and x2, what am I ready to define? Uh, think about this. Given this, we go back to step uh, 2. Okay, so q2 can be defined now. Okay, let me wait until, okay, I'll define q2 here. So q2 is just x1, x2. So it stands out to be just 1 by square root 3 is common and uh, yeah and this is q2 now step 2 step 2 is we have to use sigma 1 y1 equals a x1 and Sigma to y to equals a x two to obtain you know everything about a x one and uh, sigma one so you get y one equals one by square root three and y two equals so I'm ready to define q one now. 
Okay, to by definition, if you check the proof, uh, writing sigma one y one equals a x one. By definition, y one and y two will be unit length and uh, orthogonal. The last thing to check is uh, so what we have step three. We have obtained q one is x one x two. Sorry, q two. Q one is y one y two. And sigma is three point two zero zero one. Yeah, two zero zero one. Now, uh, as a homework, check. Check. Check Q one sigma. Q two transpose turns out to be. Check if this is indeed the case. I mean a very short summary before I wrap up. Uh, what did we learn in this lecture? Uh, we just applied the concepts uh, that we had learnt in the previous lecture, which is to understand uh, how to decompose a matrix in the SVD form, uh, a given matrix, and we uh, we did this in the context of a simple two cross two matrix here. And we also uh, at the outset uh, we had to do a sanity check if a matrix is diagonalizable, uh, its eigen decomposition is its SVD form. Uh, however, the example that we uh, took up in this lecture was not diagonalizable, which we verified, and then we wrote it in the SVD form by computing the singular vectors and left and right eigenvectors of appropriate matrices. Once we did that, we could uh, write this given matrix in the SVD form as a product of an orthogonal matrix times a diagonal matrix times a another orthogonal matrix, and this orthogonal matrix, the entries uh, that go into this orthogonal matrix. Uh, have some logical uh, interpretations. They are the eigenvectors of uh, either a, given a matrix A. They are the eigenvectors of either A transpose A or A into A transpose, depending on whether they are on the left or the right of the diagonal matrix.